Hi, I'm Jim Coffin, Vice President of Maintenance for Hirschbach Motor Lines. We are a uh, Midwest-centric reefer carrier. Uh, we haul fresh uh, product throughout the United States, primarily east of the Rockies. We dispatch about 650 tractors and we have about a thousand road trailers. What is driving the uh, trends today in managing data and how we are um, influencing the telematics and the relationship between the telematics providers and the OEMs. Um, I think at a macro level, the, the challenge is that you know we are being witness to tremendous changes in the supply chain. If you look at what the consumer goods supply chain has done and, and the efficiencies that they're demanding, um, it really drives it all the way through the supply chain. So trucking, as we know, is the core of our economy, and trucking is really the least common denominator in the supply chain. So naturally, there's a lot of volume there, but there's also a lot of opportunity in that the efficiencies of the supply chain. Um, if you look at the just-in-time inventory management that manufacturing uh, through lean efforts relies upon, we really have created an environment where transportation of whether it's raw materials or component goods that go into finished products are relying upon just-in-time transportation. Um, if you look at the average grocery chain today, they say that there's over 65,000 SKUs available to a typical consumer. And they'll also say that the, you know, the back stock is virtually zero. So a typical grocery store will turn over their product about every three to five days. So it's relying upon just-in-time transportation to deliver those goods and service. That forces us to really get more efficient. Uh, our customers are asking us to deliver 98, 99% on time. So the utilization of the equipment, the pressures to deliver just-in-time, and then we have regulatory constraints. As we all know, drivers are a tough commodity to come by and their limitations due to their hours of service, which we value their safety and we know that they need to operate safely, uh, but it challenges them to really be able to maximize their productivity. So all of this converges to we are ever more reliant on the reliability and the uptime of the vehicle. Um, at the same time, our costs of equipment are very, very uh, accelerated over the last few years. Our maintenance costs have gone up tremendously. Uh, and just as an, an anecdote, uh, equipment that we would might have bought in 2005, 2007, a typical road tractor, we might have spent $90,000, $95,000 for it. Today, with all of the safety equipment, with all of the creature comforts that we put in for the driver, we're spending over $140,000 for tractors. So. That's $50,000 per tractor, and likewise on the trailer side. Our trailers have uh, gone up. We're spending over $60,000 a trailer. So the typical driver has in his hands, um, you know, over a quarter of a million dollars worth of equipment. So utilization of that equipment is very, very important. And I think that's what's driving the, um, the, the need for the efficiency. And so planning moving freight, delivering on time is the core of trucking and the equipment is, is a piece of that that enables it. So what you're seeing is the telematics providers have really understood the power of making the carrier more efficient and managing the relationship with the customer, managing the freight movement. That's what drives our business and what I think the, what we're challenged with is this battle that there's some type of a recurring revenue stream to be competed over. And the OEM is looking to say, can I be a part of that? Um, unfortunately, um, you know, we've got mixed views on to what degree they can participate. Uh, from a fleet perspective, we believe that the truck management system, the dispatching, the delivering freight is core. That's what we're trying to accomplish. So until someone's going to step in and replace that interoperability and that integration of data to and from the truck and understand that's our core operation we're trying to deliver freight 
um, they're never going to supplant that. So the equipment manufacturers are participating certainly in making their equipment more reliable, lowering our costs for fuel economy sake, but um, I think they have to understand that the interoperability of data and what I like to talk about is contextual awareness in terms of how the freight is being moved is really the role that they can play. And uh, so that's going to force everyone to work together and drive to a common exchange of data and that'll push for common data standards and commonality and access to the data bus so that we can make operational decisions in the event of some type of a downtime event with the equipment.